The sum of three consecutive integers is 528. Find the integers. Now you see the word consecutive. Consecutive integers. I think of the pages in a book. All right. And consecutive means we start off on page one and then we go to th two, three, four. But what do you do to one to get to the next page? How do you go from one to two? You'll add what? Okay, so now you have your next page. The page after that, you're going to take two and you're going to add what? All right, and that gives you page three and so on. As you go to four, you're going to say three plus one to get to four and four plus one to get to five. Now, if your first page is X, what do you do to X? You always add what number? So the next page is one bigger than X, isn't it? All right, so let's take our uh, three consecutive integers. What is the first integer? There it is. What's the next one? X plus one. We want to add the second integer. So here's your second integer. Okay, the third integer, which you're going to add in, it's going to be one bigger than this, isn't it? What's one bigger than one? So you'll have your x, but this time you're not going to add 1. For the third integer, you're going to add what? 2 to x, aren't you? All right. Now the sum of these is 528. So here's my first integer. Here's my second integer. And here's my third integer. Add them up. The result is 528. We don't need these parentheses anymore, do we? You still have 528. Now, how many X's do I have? Count them. One, two, three of them. And one plus two is, bring down the 528. Now, we'll subtract three from both sides. We'll have three X, then is 525. When you divide by the coefficient of the variable, what's the variable? X is the variable, and its coefficient is three. We divide by three. We get x is 175, the next one 176, the next one 177.